With federal funding on its way, Congresswoman Annie Custer and Senator Maggie Hassan listen to the mounting concerns of some of New Hampshire's most prominent art venues. We're also the home for up to 12 different community arts organizations in the Upper Valley. They call our stage home every year. I don't know if all of them will make it through. As part of the latest federal stimulus package, the Save Our Stages grant is expected to be a lifeline. However, while the funds are expected to cover overhead costs, it may not be sufficient in retaining New Hampshire's talent. We've already lost a few of them to other businesses and things because they just can't hold out any longer. And there's a huge investment we've all made in these people, in training, in specialties, and they don't grow on trees. Once venues can begin offering in-person shows, a growing concern is whether patrons will feel comfortable enough to attend. We only seat approximately a third of the people with the space factor. So in other words, if we have 450 seats, we can only 150 people. And that's pretty difficult to make, uh, yeah. to make even break even. In order to usher patrons back to performing arts quicker, the industry hopes to help expedite vaccinations by proposing venues act as vaccination sites. We gather people, we can do logistics. We actually have ticketing systems that could be put to use. And let's just say that, you know, scheduling, you know, people in our blocks, we can just put shows on sales, sell the tickets for free, get people to set up. I am really serious about this. Mike Cherry, WMUR News 9.